Hello friends, uh, this is Durga again from IT University. As part of uh, uh, CCA Spark and Hadoop developer, in this video I will try to cover the final item of data ingest which is to load data into and out of SDFS using the Hadoop file system commands. So as part of this video I will try to cover loading data into HDFS and then uh, in the subsequent video I will try to cover loading data out of HDFS using Hadoop file system commands. I will not be spending a lot of time uh, in with respect to theory of HDFS. Again, if you want to understand, uh, then probably you can go to my channel, youtube.com. And uh, there are quite a few of videos uh, which covers on uh, HDFS. For example, uh, you can go to Hadoop administration, uh, any of the Hadoop administration videos and uh, even uh, developer videos, whatever uh, you get and then you can see the theory of HDFS in detail. Uh, let me, as we are talking about the developer certification, let me focus on the developer itself. So there is a playlist called Hadoop MapReduce Application Development using Java and in this uh, I have covered HDFS briefly. If you are interested uh, you can look at this and I recommend you to look at this where I have spoken about HDFS in detail. So let's go back to the uh, current topic which is uh, loading data into HDFS using the Hadoop file system commands. So as part of the command line tools, you have Hadoop FS, uh, which is a Hadoop command to navigate through HDFS file system. And you can type Hadoop FS and hit enter, and you can see all the commands um, which you can use to play with Hadoop file system. Before getting into this, one thing you need to get it straight. Um, that is the difference between the local files on on the v, uh, VM's OS and the files which is in HDFS. So HDFS is a logical file system and when you copy into HDFS, if you want to see the details about the files, you just have to run Hadoop FS commands to see the details. Whereas on command prompt, you will use Linux shell commands to see the details. For example, to see the files in um, uh, local file system, you typically run ls-ltr, which will give you the details about files and file properties. And uh, you can hit enter. You can see that all these files are there and you also get the owner group, uh, and the modified time, the size of the file, and the permissions on the file. Similarly, if you want to see the details about the files in HDFS, you have to run Hadoop FS minus LS. There is no variations like uh, uh, LTR, which you typically see in um, uh, Hadoop FS LS command. There are different uh, uh, things, and, and, and there are other variations, not all the variations you get with uh, Linux basic commands. And then when you run this by giving the path like this, user Cloudera. and hit enter, you can see the files under user cloud era and you can see it is similar to ls-ltr, you get properties of the files, the owner of the, the HDFS owner of the file, the HDFS group of the file and the size of the file uh, and uh, then the last modified time of the file. Um, all the details which you typically see using ls-ltr command, you can see it using ls command. And uh, uh, also if you want to get a help of a particular command, you can just type Hadoop FS minus help and then whatever sub command we have seen here, you can type any command. Uh, while getting the help, you should not type minus, you just type the command itself and hit enter. It will give the details uh, in uh, for Hadoop FS, we have minus D, minus H and minus capital R. R capital R is for recursive. Uh, H for uh, uh, to uh, to provide the details about the files in uh, human readable format, and minus D is to just the listed directories. So any command, if you have questions, you can use minus help command. That being said, now let's talk about copying files into HDFS. 
So before copying files into HDF, HDFS on a client node or any of the nodes in the cluster, you need to stage the files in OS. For example, whatever files we have in this um, uh, uh, VM, I can copy it into HDFS, which is a software running on VM. In a distributed cluster, you will have multiple nodes, uh, which will be supporting HDFS. In this case, we have only one node. So you need to understand that also. Uh, for that reason, if you have access to a cluster, it will be better to uh, run the commands on cluster to get the feel of it. Even otherwise, it is not very important from the certification point of view. Uh, they are primarily emphasized on copying uh, files into HDFS and reading files from HDFS. So we'll focus on that. So let's try to copy one of the file. We have a file called data.txt and we will try to copy that. There are two commands. If you uh, type Hadoop FS and hit enter, there are a bunch of commands here and uh, copying files, you can see copy from local, cp and put. So these three are uh, uh, commands which you can use uh, to copy files. Okay, uh, copy from local and uh, put are similar, but cp and both source and target is HDFS. So if you want to copy files from one HDFS location to another HDFS location, you use CP. But if you want to copy files from local file system to HDFS, you can either use copy from local or put. Let's see the help of those commands. Let's start with copy from local. Hadoop FS help copy from local and hit enter. You can see uh, it has uh, three con other control arguments uh, which we'll uh, uh, explore in a moment. And then after these optional arguments like minus F, minus P, minus L, it takes the local source, which is local file system, and destination, which is HDFS destination. So it will copy files from local file system to HDFS. And also they mentioned that it is identical to the put command. So if you want to understand what is this minus F, minus P and minus L, uh, you need to run help on put. And it explains the details of, about the files. P preserves access and modification times, ownership and the mode. Minus F overwrites the destination if it already exists. Uh, if you don't specify minus F, it will fail. These two might be very important for the certification. The third one, I'm not sure whether they, they will care much about it. They're saying that they load data node to lazily persist the file to disk. I don't know what it is. Um, um, but one thing you need to understand is, irrespective of the size of the cluster and irrespective of the replication factor, again, if you want to understand the replication factor, you have to get into the details about HDFS. If you're already aware of it, uh, it will be uh, forced to use one um, when you try to specify minus L and hence you have to use it, use it with uh, care. Okay, so now let us see what is minus P, what is minus F and how we can actually copy files from local file system to HDFS either by using uh, copy from local or uh, put, it doesn't matter. I think there is one difference uh, which you need not worry much, but if you are interested, you can Google it uh, to see the difference between copy from local and put. Uh, but uh, I don't care about that much. So now let us copy the file. I will try to copy this data file. Before that, if you want to create a directory just to test it, uh, you can do that. I am creating. Um, um, uh, a directory called data and hit enter. Now in a directory with that name will be created under a location called minus user minus whatever sorry slash user slash whatever OS user you try to log in. So this one is similar to uh, this mkdr command is similar to minus user sorry slash user slash cloud error slash data and uh, this one and the output of the who am I command should match. So who am I, it's Cloudera, and uh, this also should match. So if you have the, this is called as user space in HDFS, again, you don't need to worry much about it. Um, either you can use full path like this, or if you do not specify the path, by default, it will try to use this location to create 
um, the directories or files or even to read the directories or files um, when you do not specify uh, uh, these things in the path. This notation is called as fully qualified path or absolute path, both are same and this one is called as relative path. I will try to use the fully specified path or absolute path going forward. So uh, we, we already have the directory and you can see that there are no files in that and hit enter. There are no files in this location. Now I am actually copying by using minus put. Uh, by default, uh, uh, it will not use minus f or minus p parameters. Minus p, if you remember, is to preserve the access modif modify time, one or all the file properties, whatever you have on the source file will be preserved on the file in HDFS. That is the purpose of minus p. Minus f is to actually overwrite the file if it is already existing. Uh, so we are not using any of those things. Uh, we are directly copying the file, which is this data.txt. On our local file system, it, it is under home, Cloudera, because it is under home directory uh, at the OS level. Uh, and then data.txt. And I am actually giving the full path, Cloudera data, and hit enter. So if you see the file is 1.12 1 MB, it is created on December 21st at 1.54 AM. Uh, now if I do fs-ls, you can see that uh, it has today's date. So uh, that is the difference, uh, sorry, so it will, it will update the modify time, even the permissions, if the permission levels are different, uh, if you see here. On the source file system, we have read, write, uh, read, write, and read. Whereas on the target HDFS file, we have only read, write, read, read. Uh, so if you want to preserve the properties, you should use minus p while copying the file, either by using put or copy from local, both are same. So I'm using um, minus p, but the file is already there. So if I run it like this, it will fail because the file already exists. As I, if I want to overwrite the file, I can say minus p minus f. Now the file is uh, uh, overwritten and if you look at the properties of the file, it has the source properties read, write, read, write and read instead of read, write, read, read. And also the date is 21st December and time is 1.54 am uh, other, uh, rather than uh, today's date. So that's how um, and the variations of minus put or mi uh, minus copy from local commands uh, work when you try to copy files from local file system into HDFS. So that is it about copying data from local file system into HDFS. Um, make sure you understand all the parameters and um, uh, run different uh, um, uh, variations of copy from local and minus put commands and also uh, uh, even though they did not specify in the certification you should know what is the replication factor and block size uh, which I will not be covering in detail in this video because I have covered elsewhere you can go to that video and make sure you have the knowledge of replication factor and block size and also you make sure that you remember the default values the default replication uh, uh, value is 3, uh, replication factor value is 3 and uh, the default block size is 128 MB. So make sure you remember those things. They might ask straight questions on those two things because it's very important uh, to understand the replication factor and block size. But as part of the syllabus, they did not emphasize much. So I'm not getting into too many details here. But uh, whether it comes in certification or not, for you, it is very, very, very important to understand what is the replication factor and what is the block size uh, to make sure um, how HDFS works. Um, uh, so make sure you understand those things. That being said, uh, I hope you are enjoying the content on my channel, especially on this playlist. If you like this video, please click on the like button 
if you want to provide feedback or ask any technical questions either you can use the comment section of the video or you can actually go to stack overflow and tag um, uh, hdfs especially for this video and i will be monitoring your queries and try to respond uh, with the best of my knowledge also i, I have a linkedin group called hadoop certifications you can uh, go to linkedin search for hadoop certifications and send a request to join uh, and we can discuss not only for the cert for this certification but any hadoop certification uh, going forward uh, that being said if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please do so you will get to see a lot more content like this over time thank you bye